Okay, hi. Okay, now this time I am addressing negative exponents again. Except for this time, I'm dealing with rationals, otherwise known as f fractions. So last time, I, it was a whole number to a negative exponent. This time, it's a rational to a negative exponent. So this was pretty easy to write. Um, because I had the experience of doing it with whole numbers. This was probably easier to write. I put all my knowledge of TRS-80, um, the way its math functions function, <laughs> if that makes any sense. So I was able to create this program in a few minutes. But anyways, so what's going on here is I have a fraction to a negative exponent and it wants to know what the values are. So for the top number, I'm going to put 1. And for the bottom number, I'm going to put 2. So if you transfer those numbers to the um, template up here, the 1 goes here, the 2 goes on the bottom. With this computer, um, actually I could have done this a little better, but for the sake of this presentation, I'll be using this format, A slash B, which means literally A divided by B. Um, and sometimes I will be using a regular fraction bar. I just did it quickly and it works either way. So what I have here is one half to the negative something and I'm going to make that something two. So when I press enter it's going to elaborate. Now I took you through the steps before of how to get I took you through um, the steps of how to, um, I showed you the formula for this already, so I'm not going to show it again. But what happens is uh, you put a 1 on top and you draw a fraction bar. And now in this case, the fraction is below the fraction bar where there would have been a whole number last time. And the original number was one half to the second power. So one half to the second power is one half times one half, which is straight across multiplication if you use your imagination. And one times one would be one on top and two times two would be four on the bottom. And the exponent goes away, and it was positive when you bring it under. So we get this value, one over a quarter. Now, if you know math, a fraction is, every fraction, every rational, I should say, is nothing but a division problem. So when you see a fraction like one-fourth, it literally means one divided by four. So in this case, we have one divided by one-fourth, which would look like this. So in math, you need to make things like... Um, so that they can be um, calculated, you have to make them similar. So what we do here is we put a fraction bar under the one. Okay, here we just have a whole number one, but down here we added a fraction bar and we place a one under that because any number is equal to itself over one. 
So now we have 1 over 1 divided by 1 fourth. And I, I, I didn't have to do anything with the 1 fourth because it already has a denominator. So we gave a denominator here. And again, if you know math, when you see two fractions and one is divided by the other, you use the reciprocal. So this equals this. The reciprocal is simply flipping the 4 on top and putting the 1 on the bottom and changing the division sign to a multiplication sign. And then, as I said before, you do straight across multiplication on the top and the, on the bottom. And if you did that, you would end up with 4 over 1 or simply 4. So that is the answer to our rational additive inverse 4. So let me walk you through this program one more time. Now, 1 on top, 2 on the bottom, to the negative 2, okay, 1 half to the negative 2 equals 4. Now you can use your graphing calculator and you will get this answer. I tried it on a graphing calculator. I don't really need a graphing calculator. I know how to do this math. But that is the answer. Now let's run it again and we'll put in different numbers. Now I made this program so that the numerator is always 1. Okay, but instead of using 2 on the bottom, let's put 4 on the bottom. Okay, and 1 fourth to the negative 2 equals 16. Okay, guys, if you do the math, 1 fourth squared is 1 16th. And um, if you multiply... 1 over 1, if you, div I'm sorry, if you div divide 1 over 1, if you divide 1 divided by 1 16th is equal to 1 times 16 or simply, simply 16. So, to walk you through it again, 1 fourth to the negative 2 equals 16. Okay, we'll do this one more time. Now this is a computer application that I've written, so there's there's nothing set up here except for the top is always going to be 1 because I don't want to make it complicated. I just wanted to show you that it can be done on a TRS-80. Now we're going to say 1 eighth to, I think you're getting it now, right? 1 eighth to the negative 2 is equal to 64. Now, that's um, a pretty interesting answer. 1 eighth, think about it, 1 eighth um, to the negative 2 equals 64. It's just pretty much mind blowing. If you ask me, if you ask me, because um, if we try to <laughs> printing um, 1 eighth squared, we get a small decimal. You see that? But if we um, print 1 eighth to the negative power of 2 it equals 64 I mean that how would you you would never know that um, if you did not know how to do these operations and um, it's very interesting how math works I don't know how mathematicians came up with this I have no idea I really don't even know what the breakdown is on this if anybody has some further insight, let me know.
in a comment and um, take care and um, that's the end of this video.